Don't just do it. All right, let's say that together. Don't just do it. Look at what he says in verse 15. I have set you an example that you should do as I have done for you. Back in the late 80s, Nike, the Nike Corporation, came out with a slogan called Just Do It. And let me tell you something. Since the 1980s, when they came out with that slogan, that company has made billions of dollars. Why, why was Just Do It such an effective marketing campaign? Right? Think about that. Why was it so effective? Just do it. Why was it so effective? Because instead of us continu continuing to talk about, well, one day I'm going to get back into shape, Nike's slogan was, just do it. And our $400 shoes are here to help you. <laughs> but Jesus, when speaking to his disciples, he doesn't say, just do it. That's not what he's saying here. He's saying, look at the last sign. You should do as I have done for you. In other words, as believers, when we, when we go set out to do something, we should not do it recklessly. We shouldn't do it impulsively. We shouldn't do it selfishly. But instead, we should be a people that when we set out to do something, we need to do it thoughtfully. We need to do it carefully. We need to do it purposefully. We need to do just as Jesus has done for us. What does this mean? This means that Jesus isn't just our Savior, which is a lot already. Jesus is our Savior. We know that for sure. But Jesus came into this world not just to be our Savior, but now that we are saved, he's also come to be our example he came to show us how we should live our lives. I want to show you his motivation. I want to show you what motivated Jesus to wash his disciples' feet and what motivated Jesus to do everything that he did for his disciples in the upper room and outside of the upper room. Look, at, look we got to go back to the beginning. Verse 1, it was just before the Passover feast. Jesus knew that the time had come for him to leave this world and to go to the Father. Look at it right here. Having loved his own who were in the world, he now showed them the full extent of his love. What was it that motivated Jesus to do what he did when he came to this world? It was love. What should motivate every single believer in this room and in this world, for us to do the things that we do, it's love. Why? Because we it's not just do it. It's do as he's done for us. It, what should motivate us in this life 